feed from the wing. From the right side. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save! Manages to hang on. Right out front. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he quick feed to Randall? What's going on, you guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel, or if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by and visiting. Today I'm doing something a little bit different than what I typically do here. Oh, that's my phone being a jerk. <laughs> you know what? We're going to leave it in. Why not? Uh, so today I'm looking at a game called NHL 22, which you might be able to tell by looking at the screen. Um, for those of you guys who come here pretty regularly, um, this will be something quite different because I have not really ever covered much in the way of sports games, although I might change that a little bit um, as... Sports games have been a really big part of my life uh, from a gaming standpoint. It's something that I have very fond memories of growing up. And NHL has always been one of those series and franchises that I have liked the most out of all of them, especially with the way things like Ma uh, Madden have gone um, just a com in a complete uh, toilet spiral down the drain. Um, NHL has always kind of been there and, and always provided a product that, while it has its own issues, just like any other game does, um, always provided something fun and what felt at least somewhat real you know when it comes to to a sporting game which i think is what a lot of people want when they play a sports game is to feel like they're in the game uh no pun intended there from any EA sports game but uh that is basically what it is and i picked up nhl 22 on ps5 uh just uh, about a week ago um was pretty excited to start playing but then i figured something out Nobody really has this game on next gen, and, and the, one of the other problems is, is even if you do have it on, on next gen, you're one of a, a pretty select few people who apparently do, and part of that obviously has to do with um, just the shortage and lack of availability for PS5 or Xbox Series systems. Um, one thing that the makers of NHL didn't do, which I find very surprising considering what I kind of learned over here over the last week is that this game while the you have two versions of ps5 or a next gen and, and a past gen version uh, they're not compatible with each other and you've essentially split the pair the player base up now into four different places two different next gen consoles and two different past gen consoles so i tried playing this game now when i i played the you know the previous titles of this in the past i had a lot of fun with them uh would play some club games also would play drop in quite frequently um, drop-in was never usually too hard to find games in. Uh, trying to find drop-in, though, in this on PS5 is an absolute nightmare. It is next to impossible to, to find any game that is full, and uh, I spent the better part of a weekend trying to play some games uh, in drop-in and maybe found three or four where I, uh, the game was close to full or you know, even anywhere near full. And the rest of them were one to three people playing the whole time, um, or you didn't find one at all. So it's a little disappointing in that regard. So I would suggest very highly, if you want this game, get it on past gen, play it backwards on your next gen console. You'll have a lot more fun because there will be people playing it. That's all I got for you today. Thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you next time.